Did you know you could use Cricut infusible inks to sublimate on dry erase boards? Did you know that the Glowforge would cut dry erase boards? We just made these signs using those two techniques and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, Builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're stepping into some shape-shifting sublimation. Yes, we learned a new trick with some melamine, and I can't wait to show you what we can do with it. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We really just needed some melamine that we picked up from Home Depot. It's got dry erase on one side, blackboard on the other. I know you guys have seen that there. And we're going to be doing some sublimating, so we're going to use some of these Cricut infusible ink sheets. Yes, now. crazy patterns. Yes, yes. Well, and we have a sublimation printer, but it's been a while since we used it, and we can't get the ink to work, run in it. I can so. only get three colors to work at one time. But that's okay. <laughs> these have some awesome patterns, and I look forward to using these on our melamine. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm just gonna take the melamine over, the dry erase, over to the glow forge and cut it out. I bet you didn't know the glow forge could cut through this stuff. Yes. It does. Yes, does a beautiful job at it. And we'll be using one of the designs we have in our store. We sell the SVG and the MDF, but it was the hottest seller at our farmer's market last week. It was the first one of the season. Like 30 minutes, all four were gone. Yes, we sold, we brought four of them. I was thinking I'd have some for this weekend and next weekend, but of the first five sales, four of them were the popsicles, Hello Summer popsicles. So we're gonna use that design to showcase our new trick we learned with the melamine and the sublimation. Take and it up a notch, make it pop even more. And I'm excited to use some uh, leopard print here, oh, yeah. but I'll show you that when we get to it. I'm gonna use the pass-through slot to do both our 18 inch round and the design. And I'm just going to use thick draft board as my settings. Out of the glue forge, they're a little bit dusty. They got some char marks. But we're gonna take care of that with a magic eraser. Takes it right off, makes it look beautiful, crisp, clean. I feel like the sham wow guy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a muddy mess. Yeah. But then all you have to do is wipe it with a paper towel. And it's beautiful. Look at that, look at those crisp lines, look. I like how you Great. show them, but like like, yeah. like you don't want them to get a good look. Well, I gotta keep it moving. <laughs> yeah. Keep them interested, right? <laughs> the guys might lose interest. All right, I guess I'll uh, clean up all my little pieces that I need to clean up. All my little popsicle pieces. Two layers. And my letters. I think I'm gonna go cut my letters out of MDF. I don't think I'm gonna sublimate my letters. No, I think they're just going to be black. Yeah. Step three. Now we're going to press it. We're going to press it real good. <laughs> I've done it every time he said it. <laughs> we're going to use our Cricut infusible inks like we said. Uh, we're using, for the popsicles, the plan is to use Mermaid Rainbow mm. and Distressed Berry. That's these two. And then for my high, I'm going to be using leopard. Wow. Wow. Your high is going to be very high. <laughs> high. <laughs> hey, this is empty. I know. I... <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I, if you guys, hold on. If you guys have used Cricut infusible inks before, they come very tightly wound. And so I pulled them out a little while ago and tried to flatten them out some. They're still not super flat, but I have. Super flat. Right, I have rolled them backwards and I let them set for a minute. Like this. Anti-rolling. Yeah, I did a lot of this. 
Are both of them empty? Yeah. That one I think has a couple of extra sheets that we're not planning to use. All right. All right, so I guess you've got to decide which goes on which. Now this looks blue, but it's green. So know that it's green. Okay. So. Hey, why don't I just lay that down like this? Do them all at once. Can I do them all at once. What do you think? Well, I think that's awesome. And then you can turn around and do the purple over here. Yeah. Well, gosh, yeah. Why don't you come up with that idea before I unroll 72 sheets here? <laughs> I thought it'd be more fun that way. <laughs> yeah, I think that's cool. All right. All right, let me measure it out. Trim it. Can I have some skeezers? That was two boxes at $18 a box. We could have done this with one box. I didn't know. Really, just one sheet? Yeah. We could have just went and bought one sheet. But if this looks great, imagine how many more we can do. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Do they provide parchment paper? They do. I hid it from you. It's right here. <laughs> We're all over the place. Should I tape this down? Yeah, I, th I think yes. Let's do it. Let's do that. So we have some of this high heat tape. I'm going to show it to you. Right here. And I had cut some pieces. Mm -hmm. Then I'll stuck to the table. See how efficient I am? Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. I, uh, I moved it. I just don't want to mess it up. Parchment paper. What is it? Butcher paper. Mm. We're gonna lay the infusible ink right down, face down, on top of the melamine. And then we're gonna add our parchment paper. We're gonna set our Cricut Easy Press to 400 degrees, and we're gonna press this for 30 seconds. Going in, ready? Ready. Oops. Well, that was great. Stop moving it. But I would not recommend moving it. Yeah, don't shift it around like I was. Are you still singing the song that we had? Alright, let's see if this jam worked. I hear you. Whoa! Oh my goodness, they look so cute! They look great. Alright, let's. Little, little shifty shifty over here. Somebody got a little wonky with the. Uh, okay, are right. they too hot to pick up? Too cold to hold, too hot to handle. Get we'll close this one, this one. Yes. You got it lined up. Mm -hmm. This is the largest piece of tape for the smallest <laughs> popsicle. Just wrap it around. All right, going back in. So much tape. <laughs> that thing was going nowhere this time. Oh, but the tape. Yeah, the tape. Oh, it up a look. Uh, see lesson where the tape learned. Was? See. Yeah, it's it was uh, blocking the heat. It didn't get as much heat right there, uh, or more transferred heat more there. heat there. Yeah, you more can kind of see it on our popsicle. I yeah. don't know if you can see that from there, but I think once you put the letters on it, you won't notice. Yeah, I think so. Right, oh, cool. those look cool. Alright, let's do your high. Can you see that? Yeah. Should be able to. Yeah. Well, the bar is right in the way, but I'm gonna say yeah. yes because I can't see them at all. All right, now let's get out our leopard print. I did leave this one in the box. I just left it in the box rolled Hi. opposite. Oh, you left it in the box rolled opposite. Oh, that's good thinking. <laughs> All right, 
so this is exciting. Look at how fun this is. Now, this high is larger than 12 inches. So here's what I'm thinking, Maybe Garrett. Oh, never mind. Garrett's smarter than I am. If I turn it diagonal, it works perfectly. Now, will the leopard print look weird diagonal? I don't think so. I don't think you could tell. Can you tell if leopard print's diagonal? I don't think so. Do it like that. Okay, well. I'm gonna have it. Right. Tape me! That was so efficient putting it on the table like that. Well, it was dangling perfectly when I did it. Until the wind blew. <laughs> okay, hold Until on. Until I rubbed up against it. Yes, that's what happened. <laughs> I'm a little nervous to put too much tape on it. No, here, put it over here. 30 seconds. Oh. We might have to move it. Yeah. I'll do it up here. 30 seconds. All right, so it's a, the high is larger than the easy press, so yeah, we're gonna just do it in two two rounds. Uh -huh. oh. All right, I'm out. I'm out. That was six seconds left. All right, ready. Ready. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Both of us. I think that you didn't have enough pressure on this side. I didn't transfer. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's see if I can line it back up. No way. You don't think so? Bring hello one inch in one inch. Can you do that? Yep. I'll shrink it one inch. All right. We'll be right back. Straight up. Look at that. Couldn't get any more straighter upper. All right, let's get it off there quick. Because I don't want it to. Woo! All right, yes, that, that worked great. Good. Yes, that worked great. Let's see if I can show you. Ooh, it's so hot. You want to give yeah. it a second? Oh, it's still a little hot. Woo, that's hot. It's like 400 degrees hot. <laughs> it's almost like it's 400 yeah, degrees. It's almost like it was on fire. Oh, maybe a little bit right there. But it looks good, I think. Yeah, yeah, a little, a little bit, bit right there. Yeah. So yeah, so you can see the negative. And you can see maybe a little bit right here. It didn't transfer as much ink, but but from you, at first glance, you're not going to yeah. see that, hopefully. Throw some clear coat on there, a bow, it'll pop. All right. Step four. Now we're going to uh, glue it down. Glue it down. You got to glue it down. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> so we got all of our little pieces. We're just gonna glue them all together. All colorful pieces. Glue it all down on our backer that we also cut out of the dry erase. Add a little slots for the bow. Ribbon. 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 We've decided that the contact cement doesn't bond as well to the melamine. So this clear Gorilla Glue, we use this, but you have to use it sparingly, otherwise it's gonna ooze out the under, it's from easy. underneath. Yeah. All right, we'll give it like a couple of minutes. So maybe a little heavy on my glue over here. Yeah, should have been paying more attention. Step five, and now we have the accents. <laughs> it's really just some ribbon or bow and a ribbon to hang it. We're going to use these little slots that we have on the, on the top. All right, I hope yours is dry. You're just standing it all up like oh. it's ready to go. Yeah, I totally forgot. Has, hasn't been that, that long. That it's dry. <laughs> But you can slide it off like this. So the great thing about these rounds is you don't have to have any hardware. You just fold your wire ribbon and tuck it right in that slot. Mine will go easy because I'm use, like, using like the thickest ribbon for mine. A little knot in the back. 
they can actually make a knot. Yep, just slide it through like that. Just tie a knot in the back. No hardware needed. And that was easy because we were making them at the farmer's market, adding the bows. Yeah. Yeah, we ran out of uh, inventory. That was, I had some stuff in, in progress and I was able to finish up some things right there. Add the bows. All right, and I've shown you guys how to make this bow before. We have another bow tutorial video at the end, but I'm just using a piece of this, what is this, six inches or something? Mm -hmm. Six inch, five and a half inch burlap for the backer. And then I'm making this bow, fold it over in the back. It's about, mine's about nine to 10 inches. So it's Garrett's. And then you're just using four different coordinating up oh, before you do it. I didn't do this for you, sorry. You gotta, what do you gotta do, chevron the edges? What do you, you gotta call it? Gotta fishtail it. Yeah, fishtail it. Fold it in half, cut it. You can do both sides at one time. Oh yeah, I guess you can. You do it that way. Pinch the center. Pinch each of the sides. Can you see this? Yeah, you're watching. All right, I'm gonna do this. Put that right in there. Pinch this one, put it right in there. The next one, put it right in the middle. This little leopard print right on top. And then the newest trick we've learned is using these colored zip ties. These things are great. It makes it so much easier. You don't have to hold it while you tie it. Um, and I can do this just by myself. I don't have to have that extra set of hands. And these colors pretty much coordinate with everything. Now, I'm using the medium size to tie the ribbon, and then before I crank it down too tight, you need some help over there, I go ahead and add the small one right in the back. Like that. And I go ahead and crank it down all the way. And then just cut it. Now this is ready to wrap around my tie. Want some help over there? No, I got it. Garrett loves making bows. I do, I love them. <laughs> Wait, how did you do it? It's okay with the bow. I don't think I needed it. <laughs> yeah. The bows really sell these things at the farmer's market. All right, what do you think? Yeah, what do you guys think? What do you think about the transition here? I'm gonna take these out in a minute. I'm gonna flip the bows behind oh, them. Oh yeah, usually we will clear coat it yeah. before. We use the water-based polyacrylic I'll, I'll leave a link down below to the one we use. It doesn't yellow. It hasn't yellowed on us yet. Huh? And then we get, and we use the matte, and it takes off some of the shine here. Now it could be, it's fine with the shine, but I like it a little fine bit. Fine with the shine. Yep. But I like it a little bit like duller. Yeah, we like the matte stuff. Keeping it dull. Speaking of keeping it dull, 
You know where we don't keep it dull? Over on Patreon at the after show. <laughs> so it looks like it's time for us to go. So if you're not going to join us on Patreon for the after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, these are easy to balance. I mean, these are... Can you do two at one time? No, I won't be able to think. Uh, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta have to watch the top of two at the same time. <laughs>